Of course not, because you are in school. It's just a project. It's a, it's a simulation of reality in a certain way. And then there is also another, another subject, another thing that is very important that you students or young people must understand, but also anybody that wants to make a portfolio, even to get a new client. Yeah, I mean, let's, Im let's imagine you, between you guys, there is some freelancer, okay? You have your own company. I have friends that have, they have their own design studios. So when they have to make a portfolio to seduce a potential new client, they are not going to make a restyling project and say, hey, look at the new bumper I made for the next, uh, I don't know, Tesla. Not at all. They will reinvent that car because the objective they have is to show the degree of creativity they can offer because that makes people dream and opens up also the, um, how can I say, uh, the hope of having a designer or a design company that will have several creative solutions to the same problem. Instead, when you make something that is, uh, as I often say, uh, restyling, so with a very limited creativity, because it's too much based on today or tomorrow's change, me as a potential client, I ask myself, but is this person or this team really creative to solve my problem? Because I have to invest money. I am, I am asking people to design, to make the design part of my project because I am an engineer, I am a, an investor, I am a, the owner of a company that produces a certain type of objects or, or, or vehicles, electric vehicles, uh, small vehicles, okay? And of course, I need uh, somebody that with his, her creativity will illustrate the potential of my project product for which I already spend money. So the design, which is uh, the, the not just the aesthetics, but also the emotional feeling, you know, that should be positive at once when you look at the thing, you know, and also the functional parts, the ergonomy, all that stuff that go together with design. How, what level, you know, what level, what degree of creativity should I reach in order to make sure that my project when will be product produced and will be in the on the road you know in the street everybody gonna look at it and say oh wow it's so cool I really like it I'm gonna buy one it's not very expensive it's very functional easy to I don't know to maintain cheap all electric, you know. So, when I say no limit, especially to you that are very young and you are at the beginning of this fantastic career or potential career, I don't want you to be concentrated on things that are too traditional. I need you to be open, be open minded. And how do we do? Because a lot of people. When they start school, they don't even know their creative limits. I when I start school, I didn't know. At the beginning, I used to make uh, to sketch cards uh, that were very similar to that time, you know, that period. And I had my teachers that were saying always, oh, "Come on, be more creative." So I said, "Okay, I will change the lights. I will do the vertical light because that time uh, all the lights were horizontal." That was not enough. Then I had a declick, something that changed really the perspective of what I was doing after the first year of school. And then I start flowing my hand and I start already from the, the volume of the car, the basic proportions. Because the light was just a detail. The bumper or the cut line were just details. What was really needed? Ciao, Holy Striker. Welcome back. Happy New Year to you. I mean, to all of other people. Now we are nine people. So, Happy New Year to all of you. Right? Of course, with pleasure.
So we, I was, I was starting to understand that when you approach a new project and you have to think for the next 10 years, and that project has to last at least 10 years because it's the investment time, you know, to make sure that you get your money back in terms of uh, return of investments, you know. Then in that case, you have to think of a, of a, of a, a design approach that will be striking, like only striker, <laughs> striking, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, but at the same time, it cannot be too futuristic, but for sure not traditional. And that's the most difficult thing in our creative, you know, uh, field, in our profession. At the same time, we don't have to feel like, you know, blocked uh, mentally. No, I don't do this because uh, I'm scared that it's too creative. You know, don't do that. What you want to do, what you want to do, you want to make a dark, sketching make ideation sketching and what do you have to do you have to find a method that will give you the opportunity to express several degrees of creativity on the same project and then when you look the three four solutions alternatives and you know the mission and the briefing of your project then you will look again to the images or what you're doing, and then you can kind of orient it yourself and say, you know what, that one, it's really too close to today. So that one is off. And you have also to analyze what is off. Is it the silhouette? Is the thing that you are making a three, I don't know, three volume car, and today all cars are just two volume? Maybe uh, you want to make a mono volume car, just one big volume, you know, with a cabin very much in the front, which is a new thing because today we're doing uh, SUVs. So in 10 years, we're still going to have SUVs, like uh, the most revolutionary architecture of, of, uh, of contemporary car design and car design projects. I don't think so. we got to invent something new. So, when you will be looking at all those alternatives that you make, then you will realize that you can orient it probably on two of them and already discard the other two. So now the game is between two directions and those two directions for sure are more creative than the other ones. Probably the fourth one is a it's a UFO, it's an object, uh, you know, <laughs> flying object, therefore it's out of context. Okay, but that thing helps you to free your creativity spirit, you know. So one of the secrets or one of uh, the methods you can use in order to try to discover your creative limits is to start always with a very good brainstorming. And I know a lot of people say to me, yeah, okay, come on, Luciano, brainstorming is what? We, we, we put on paper a lot of things that we can never do, can never use. There is, so it's a wasted time. No, it's not wasted, wasted time because when you do a brainstorming, the rule says that you can sketch anything you want. And the reason is very simple. It's psychological. It's the first action that you can do for yourself in order to free your mind. If you are concentrated 100% only on your project from the beginning, you enter already into a framework that will close you inside the box. And the box limit is the briefing of your project. But you don't want to do that. At the beginning, let's, let's dream a little bit. Come on. Let's have some fun. Let's discover what we could do. Can you imagine if, you know, 
make the sketch. Look at this. Oh, that would be really cool. So you select, you have a lot of draw or those drawings, you know, on your page or several pages. And then because you like it, you take some colors, you know, you take few markers and then you add colors and then you, it's the fun moment. You, I mean, you, maybe those drawings will be beautiful and you have fun. Then you leave those drawings. So that brainstorming will be, of course, will be opportunity within the team. If you are in a design studio, a professional design studio, or if you are a student, you can, you can create a small committee between your friends, your family, friends, I don't know, your classmates. And then you put on the wall and not, you don't criticize that, you know, right after you finish. Let it go, go, go out in the evening, go to discotheque, do something else. Drink a beer, go drink, eat a nice pizza in very nice restaurants downtown, whatever you want to do. Watch a movie, but forget about that. Forget it. The day after, when your mind will be fresh and you gave you know, your creative support to that project as a star, and then it comes to your planning, the time when you really have to start the project, because then you have a planning, because you start from your sketch and then you end up with a model, whether it's a digital or a manual model. If it's manual, don't forget that you have to put in your planning, painting, finishing, you know, all the things that you need to do. Digital is a lot easier and faster. Okay. Then the day after, in this small committee, when you will be looking at all the drawings, even if there will be some things that, of course, you cannot use in your project, but you will find in each drawing something that you can use. Because look at that fender, the little thing, that, look at that section, look at the reflection, look at that door, look at that cabin, you look at that inclination, look at that windshield. I look at the lights of uh, that I made on that little sketch uh, in the corner or up on the corner there on the page. That's cool. So you start finding, pointing out details and elements that you can reuse. And that's the first way for you, you know, to use your creativity. And then again, realize it. Wow. I did something I never done before. I didn't sketch before. It just came like this. And this comes because you did the brainstorming, because you knew that you could crash on paper, whatever you wanted. Nobody had any rights to tell you, oh, what a stupid sketch you made, nobody. So you are, you're free. Then of course you gonna make that selection. You're gonna sketch again. You're going to probably have a package, technical package for your project. In, in real life, that's what we have. And then you start seeing how you can adapt to that package some of those details. Maybe a main proportion. Because some of your sketches have a very nice proportion. And then you have to make it right. You have to make it work on that, on that package. So there is always something to pick up from brainstorming. And then once you put that together, you will have a first results of what it means to put things together after this very creative moment or period of that project. Anthony Benedict Sanchin, in my location, there is no transportation design course. Can I take industrial design? Can I work on automotive company? Anthony, where are you from? Tell me the country. Thank you. Anyway, yes, you can do that. You should do industrial design. You should try to make some car projects, sketching cars. If you need help, I give online training courses. Okay. Today, I have also a guy from Spain, very good guy that is doing industrial design. And I have another one, India. Okay. Well, I have also two guys from India. <laughs> in India, yes, you have a school. It's called Strat Bangalore. 
I write to you here. Look, Anthony, I'm gonna write in the chat, okay? Go and check it out. It's called like this Strat College Bangalore. Okay, check. Go on internet and look at look at that school because the website is well done. I know some of the teachers. They are very good people. I know one of the directors of the school because he's a guy that I met many years ago and he was in, uh, involved in uh, managing other design schools before. So those people are not bad. In the worst of cases, if you don't want to go to that school, in India, you have NID. I mean, I'm sure you know NID. NID, they have industrial design, but they have also transportation design. Okay, but just in case in India, that's what you what's probably the best. Okay, and uh, if you want, if you can go abroad, then you should do like other Indian people do that I know that they come to Italy, go to Germany, Spain, you go to America, and they study in the real transportation design uh, universe. But one thing very important for you. That I suggest you to do right away if you are in industrial design or if you start industrial design. I don't know your age, but if you are starting, okay, what I want you to do is start sketching cars because it's complicated. So don't wait until the last day at the end of school and say, Now I have to make a portfolio in car design. Uh, can you help me? Car design sketching is something that you start and then you learn in a progressive way. It takes time, huh? Because it's very complicated. It's much more complicated than product design. Okay. All right. So now let's go back to our to our topic. No limits. So as I said, for those that just uh, got uh, uh, connected, no limits means no limits to your creativity. So what do you do after your brainstorming? where you were very creative without any type of uh, rules to respect uh, just with a very vague idea of your briefing you know just as a main orientation but yesterday is no point to go to another institute cool thank you only striker and uh, and so what uh, what you have to do then you take those good elements that you found okay in your uh, brainstorming and you start to assemble them with the right proportion on your car sketch, on your uh, uh, technical uh, package. And then you start seeing if it works. And of course, it's, you don't have to do just one sketch and say, ah, it doesn't work, or yes, it works. You have to do several. Remember, car sketching, uh, making a, a car design project, you welcome, Anthony, you welcome. Uh, to make a, a design project, it's a lot of sketching because there's a lot of research. And research, it's research in sketching. It's called ideation sketching. And you know that because many times I talk about it. If you follow me uh, since uh, a while, besides, if you are new, you can subscribe to, to my channel. It's for free. If you want to become a support member, you spend like uh, two dollars per month okay or one dollar i don't remember but you can hit the button membership and you become a member and if you want to offer me a coffee today you have the super sticker super chat buttons to offer me a coffee and thank you very much <laughs> okay all right so um what i wanted to say is that uh you put those elements together you start sketching you have to sketch around that idea because you want to make sure that you don't miss anything in your research so you have in your planning i would say basically two weeks of sketching ideation sketching before you pick up your two best ideas because you're gonna develop two ideas before you select only one which it will be the one that will become your final design proposal. So during those two weeks, you have to work around that idea, producing a lot of sketching, 
without changing all the time idea, because that's very bad. Now you have to be concentrated. And then after that, uh, those concept choices, you will arrive to a moment, a day, where in your planning is the due date to choose the design, the orientation, the one that you will develop to become a model. Anthony, so what is the difference between a Bachelor of Science in Design and a Bachelor of Design? Uh, Anthony, I'll tell you one thing because in India there is a lot of misleading, misleading terminology. Transportation design, Bachelor in Transportation Design, it's really car design. Bachelor of Science in Car Design or in Transportation Design, it's car design. Automobile Design Engineering, it's engineering, it's not design. And in India, there are a lot of, of universities that use the wrong terminology that make you think that you're going to become a car designer and what they are doing is just preparing as a mechanical engineer in the in the field of automobile so you gotta be very careful Anthony remember go and check the Bangalore Strat College look at their websites because that's a, a very good example of a transportation design bachelor college if other schools or university reproduce the same thing, then you are okay. But I can assure you by experience and by the students, uh, from the students I have on my online course, some of them are doing engineering because they got stuck into that. It was too late to change. Uh, basically, lots of universities all over India talk about uh, automobile design but in reality it's engineering design it's not car design okay but bachelor of science in design it's correct it's correct because it's a science my i i got my bachelor in art center college of design in pasadena california which is one of the best schools we have in the world in, in transportation design. And I have a Bachelor in Science. It's called BS, Bachelor in Science, in the field of transportation design. Now, why it's called science and not engineering? Because science, transportation design studies, social behaviors because for me to make a design i have to understand social behaviors trends society trends and society changes and anticipate those changes to understand how to place my creativity you understand then you have the engineers that will help me to realize mechanically with technology what I will, what I had in mind. I, I hope I, I was clear in my explanation. Okay. All right. So now, now let's go back to our topic. No limits. Now, once you develop your two concepts, how do you develop your two concepts? You have two alternatives. Basically, you do color sketches some renderings some illustrations i really hope you're gonna do them freehand using markers chalk you know color pencils and stuff because i think that's the best also for your portfolio it's very very good that you show some uh, as we say today analogic <laughs> sketches but of course you have to use also digital so photoshop uh, you are coming to me, Photoshop or other, you know, uh, or other softwares, digital softwares. 
to, re to produce some digital art. So once you do that, then you have your presentation. And with the teacher, or in my case, with our design director, we orientate designers' choices. One, each designer will pick up the concept, the one that will be developed. That's very important because from that moment, we just develop the design. We don't want to go and put again, oh, you know what, I'm going to change idea. I want to do something else. I don't like this anymore. No, 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 no. You cannot do that anymore. You really have to stick to that idea and you have the time to develop that idea. So what do you do? Well, we make few changes because of course there will be a critique. There will be a feedback. There, are, there will be some uh, meetings during which uh, the manager, the director, they will look at, at the work in progress. They will say, hey, look at this, look at that. I don't like this. Let's change that. This is too expensive. This is okay. You know. So little by little, your project becomes even more credible with its own creativity. And then you start a digital model. After the digital model, Nelias, okay, or Autodesk, you do the renderings, you do the video, a film, a virtual film, make a big presentation, then you start making a real model. And after that, of course, big presentation, painted model, and then you, you share, in the case of the real world, so for me, we share the the, the alias model with the rest of the team of the company, the engineers, so that we can start making the real car. In, uh, in, in school, of course, you don't have that stuff, that stuff. You don't have that part because that's industri industrialization, you know, a, a phase, step that uh, will last about uh, two years. So, you understand that all this process it's very important to get to that final idea after that you went through the brainstorming because if you have something very creative and really how can i say adapted to the project but in a very creative way it stands to the beginning the way you did the beginning of that project and then you Thanks to that brainstorming, you discover a new road, you go through that road, and you discover new, you know, <laughs> new things to develop. So that's very important. Now, what happens in the case where you don't do the brainstorming, where you, where you are concentrated directly on your project brief? You know, I tell you I need a car for 2000, I don't know, uh, 30 electric family car uh it has to go uh, from a to b in town and also outside the town if i only tell you that you can imagine any car of today any car of today is doing this already so you will look you will pick up the car that you like i don't know bmw an audi I mean, if you like Volkswagen or a Tesla or a Chinese car brand like Neo or who, who knows what, you will pick up the one you like, you look at the proportion, you will make a little copy of that proportion, you will change a few things, and then you will say, yeah, I have my project, because this car already is answering all the questions on my briefing. But then you get right away, so quickly, inside that uh, you know, project frame, and you will do a restyling. So when we look at portfolios, because that's the thing that happens in reality, you know, and we receive portfolios at work, and we start looking at portfolios, a lot of people do restylings, and they put those projects the beginning of portfolio, because they want to show us they are able to make a real car. But we don't care. Who cares? I already have a a team of uh, 15 designers that make real cars every day. Ciao, Fetty. How are you? Happy New Year to you. So, you understand? 
that's and that's the thing you don't think of because when you're in school you you think i'm gonna impress the manager of uh, the sponsor project uh, toyota show him that i can make a real front you know the car and make a, the toyota that looks better the toyota guy is there to see the revolution because that's why it's coming to school because to see that approach it's enough that he remains in his design studio where everybody are working on same front light the same technology they're making grills a different type of grills a new logo where do i put the logo uh change the the air entrance of uh, the air intake of the bumper make the bumper more square uh, before it was too round those are minor changes but when we go to school it's because we are we want to breed creativity so no limits no limits remember there will be always somebody that will take your work with done with no limits and bring it down to her with few changes because there will be always somebody with experience in the real design studio that will work with somebody very young and say yeah yeah it's very good but we have to apply few changes to make sure that it's credible that uh, the cost it's not too expensive so the experienced designer or design lead or design manager or like people like me we know what we have to change in order to take that good idea and make sure that people look at it and say wow it's really interesting this thing and then you say how much does it cost so no it's the same price of the project you see so once again the no limits is important so now there's another thing i want to tell you besides if you want to offer me a coffee you know the super sticker super chat is there you can click it probably you already did in the past you already offered me a coffee in the past and you can do it again if you want now another thing is sometimes in some design schools hey john the motto to my team was always there's only one rule in car design there aren't any rules exactly happy new year buon anno auguri <laughs> yeah you know guys if you don't believe me you can ask john Happy New Year, Savancia Divian. Yeah, I call you Divian. It's easier for me. Happy New Year to everybody. Really, it's a pleasure to be back. This is the first design talk. So it, it's what's important once again that you keep in mind also another thing. Let's be honest. You start school. You're going to stay in that school three years, maybe four years. After four years, you have your portfolio. Now, with that portfolio, you have to get a job. Now, what do you think we are looking for in a portfolio? When you, when you write to us and we receive you because your CV was encouraging and we like your face and we like your attitude, and therefore we say okay let's go and check the portfolio again with this guy or this girl and let's see what's in it and we see restylings of only one uh, blue sky project and everything else is very today's project there's a big doubt can i invest on you can i marry you because you know the company is going to marry you for a while there's a contract. I cannot push you out in three days if I don't like uh, the first, the way you do, you approach the first project. So what you want to do, you want to create a psychological, emotional, positive shock in those people that will look at your portfolio for the first time. And of course, there is no restyling in there. We want to see new stuff. People, when we look at portfolios that are really good, and we say, wow, look at this talent. 
when we use the word talent, usually talent means not only good skills, it means also look at that creativity. I mean, we have seven designers in our team. Nobody ever sketched a car with that detail, with that little fender, with that proportion. Look at the idea of the glass. So there we have something that today in our studio we don't have. And because we are looking about some fresh air, that thing will give you the opportunity to get that job. Now imagine that it's the same person and we see a very good restyling of our own car, of our brand, and we like it. And after we, we say, yeah, okay, but this is for today. This is for tomorrow. Are we looking for somebody that uh, makes us dream for the next 10 years? Many, many times design students are looking for one, two elements also to bring pepper, you know, to bring a hot chili pepper in the studio. Because studios, it's like a family. At the beginning, everything is very sparkling. But then you get people like me and my age, eh? it's less sparkling. So the design managers change. There is a new one that came in that is, uh, I don't know, 35, 40 years old. He's younger. He looks at uh, the park of design that he has in, in the studio and he understands that uh, it's starting to be a little bit too, you know, too horizontal. We need to do something to pep it up a little bit. So what do you do? You don't go to a, a party or get all drunk with good champagne or beer or good wine and say, okay, now we did that, we're going to become more creative. No, 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 no. You would search for new designers, young designers. You want to create that gap, the generational gap to make sure that they see what a young generation does today for tomorrow. So they get influenced so that they, they can help and support those ideas and as I said before give to them those ideas the credibility because they are the experience so that's why it's very important so if you are in school for three four years how do you want to build your projects during school you must push right away with creativity because when you get to the end and you're going to look at your portfolio and say oh shit I have a lot of resilience here yeah, but you you were very uh, devoted to your teacher's uh, request. In some schools, there are teachers that, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but they don't look for us. And they're very happy because they look more how credible is your project. This guy really knows how to make a car. He will be very good in a design studio. And that that's a big, big mistake. We don't want to, we don't, want that from a young designer right away or they say i oh, look at the renderings it's perfect reflections i understand the shape very well okay those are the skills but what about the creativity so when you get at the end after three years and your portfolio is 50 percent of stuff that looks good but it's old you know I don't want to say that you have a problem, but a little bit you do have a problem. So you have to redo some projects. So that's what I say to my students. I'm sorry, those two, a look, I mean, it's not exciting. You know, portfolio is something that has to go hot. I mean, it's like a drug. I, I, come on, I want to see the next one now. Wow, fantastic. I want to see the other one now. Well, it, I can't believe it. This is even better than the first two. I was already happy on the first two. And now I'm even happier. So you have to push for that. And that's emotional. But that emotion comes from the quality, the creativity, the skills, also your personality, the way you are, the human, you know, the human factor. So all those things go together. And in some schools, I am sorry to say, but this is the truth. Also in Europe, but also in India, because I know, Teachers that uh, are not really, uh, have not been involved very much with car design in a real car design studio, they are more obsessed with something that has to be too credible. And students that don't know, because you are so young, 
they follow the teacher, especially in some traditional countries where the tradition wants that the student has to follow the teacher. So in this case, I tell you, follow the teacher, but do also the way you want it to do. If you think that what you're doing is too traditional, do also in another way that is a little bit less traditional. Because you have to think of your portfolio at the end of the three years or the four years. And to me, that I'm doing my schooling now from next year, I'll go to college. All right. Learn now before joining design college for transportation design. Now, just Anthony, you should just try to sketch. You know, sketch cars. If you really like cars, you have to sketch cars. Try to sketch cars. If you need my help, first of all, on this channel, there are a lot of videos that I make that are really uh, tutorials, step by step tutorials. Tomorrow there will be a new video will come out. Eh? So go and check it on my page, on the homepage of, my, of this YouTube channel. Tomorrow evening, I think at 6 p.m. here, uh, there will be uh, a video, okay? Uh, and this video it's, uh, has been taken while I was teaching uh, yesterday uh, to an industrial design student from Spain, okay? Because I wanted to give you an idea how I teach. Okay, so that video will last 15 minutes and to me, you can check that video i mean everybody you check that video and you will have a real one of my lessons okay how you start a side view which is the basic and i think that you should look at that and you should just try to replicate you know do it many times don't worry even if you make mistakes who cares remember you have to make mistakes to learn so start doing that like hell you know, on, on, a, on, on a side view that you like, you can reproduce the same sketch or you can do something different, why not, would be better. But the most important thing there, in all, like in my other videos, are the step by step. Because a lot of people start sketching cars and they get obsessed with details. No, you must be obsessed at the beginning with the foundation of starting a car sketch correctly because if you learn that then after you can do all the details you want uh, little changes it will look always correct it's a little bit like learning a language you know you must have a little bit of uh, grammar uh, knowledge unless how the hell you want to talk you know <laughs> you speak the language now don't take my example in terms of grammar <laughs> Only striker. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so I think I said it all for today. Anybody wants to add anything, or if you want to ask me questions, please do. I am here. Well, not bad so far. We have a retention of audience about twelve minutes. That's very nice, Anthony. You welcome, Anthony. Anthony, if you are not subscriber of this channel, please subscribe, follow us, be part of this small community. You will love it. Imran, how are you? Would you reckon that students these days would prefer to study car design in America? Job opportunity after studying uh, is 27 12 to do a master. Uh, okay, I will start with uh, Reinhardt. Reinhardt 27, it's limit, but you can do it. But remember, to make a master at the age of 27, in order to have a portfolio in transportation design or industrial design, you really have to work a lot because you want to make sure that at your age, you have a fresh ideas portfolio project, well done with good skills. Because remember, once you are out of that school, out of that master for which you paid, you will be evaluated like everybody else coming out from any design school. And while you will be 28, because one year will be passed, the other ones come out at the age of 23. And there we have already difference in terms of creativity level. Okay? So uh, you, you are 27, you are not a kid. Think about it. 
okay and that of course depends on your level maybe you are a genius i don't know therefore i'm wrong okay if you're a genius go ahead do it imran um, no uh, the, my answer to you imran no uh, america uh, has a lot of job opportunities in terms of percentage but if you look at um, china in this period china has more then if you look in europe there is also a good quantity of uh, job opportunities in europe because we are in a period the time period where the car designer market especially for young people and especially on internship it's quite uh, sparkling quite refreshing so it's a good period check on instagram on those car design uh, uh, professional pages uh, where they put the post the, the announce okay and also LinkedIn you you will find uh, requests of uh, available uh, jobs for car designers young designers but also internship China will be the hot spot for designers yeah John is right ciao Rajat yeah China you have to understand that China it's a lot of design studio because there are a lot of brands now some brands are so small but still they have designers and because they want to make sure that they do something good that will be sold because the company the the government gave them money so they're under pressure they try to pick up good designers a little bit everywhere they pay them not the way it used to be a little bit less but they are in, uh, still in that stage where they are still learning few things especially the new brands so there are opportunities out there and uh so china in my opinion china is a good opportunity and also when we say china america europe for those people like you that are not from those countries remember if you are able to go abroad to work or also just for an internship you have to remember that you are becoming a richer person because of the human experience the life experience you need because it's going to be incredible really it's going to help you to grow more and better as a human being Roger said what do you think of the new Xiaomi car the one that looks like a Porsche Sean Herdad, how are you? How about sketch critique videos this year? Yeah, it could be fun. Ah, for me, yeah, I will I will organize that. I will organize that, Anthony. How get a job? Uh, I mean Oli Striker. How get a job as a transportation designer? Are you trying a good place to have a master? Uh Reinhard, I think so. There is a university in Shanghai that is offering that i don't remember the name but i know it's in shanghai and in shanghai there are a lot of uh, car design studios so i know that there is a collaboration between those studios and this engineering university that has a very good uh, transportation design department now should be i think 10 years old or eight years old i know that uh, audi mercedes were the first ones that uh, uh believed in this uh university at the beginning so you should uh, you should go and check it out uh how to got a to get a job uh, in transportation design well you know there are some videos on my channel where i talk about this but i will just say a few things you know john if you want to add please do help me out um first of all portfolio when we receive a, a, a good portfolio with a an honest <laughs> cv you welcome Rainer. cv well then in that case we will call the person for a second meeting this time screening that will be or online in video call just like i do my online course or uh in person I mean, we invite the, the the person to come visit us and of course we pay 
we pay the, 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 the expenses. So, but CV and portfolio. And then there is a, what I said before, the human, you know, the human content, which means how you are. If you are somebody arrogant, uh, not well educated, even if you have a very good portfolio, we will not take you. Because to be part of a car design studio is to be part of a family. When you are part of a family, you want to have somebody with you that is not creating war inside the family or disturbing the tranquility you know of the of that family you know that is mean or stuff like that no tension okay because uh car design is something that uh as it's a joyful you know a stressful but joyful feel and uh, we do the best we can not to have tensions within the studio or between people okay uh Chinchua university yeah maybe it's that one i don't know uh it's just a, it, yeah rajat you see it, it's too much like a porsche uh to add to your comment get the proper education with the proper portfolio work harder than anyone else never give up be professional exactly you know uh anthony there are some principles you know some steps it's like a checklist you know john gave us a checklist you have to check that list and make sure that you are answering you know to all those uh, elements of that list i'm good thanks sir i wonder what's the difference between explain design and mobility it's the same thing mobility design today it's intended as a a new way of interpreting transportation design because when I have something that uh, has no steering wheel, it's self-driving, it's very small, it's very high, you can stand up and you go from A to B at 10 kilos per hour, that's a mobility device. Voila, <laughs> you get the idea. So, uh, there is a new, there is a school in Italy that uh, changed the name or opened up a new master. I don't remember, somebody told me, they said, he called intelligent mobility. So I, I, I said to this person I was talking to, because before we were stupid. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like a, a fashion thing, you know. Now the fashion wants that mobility devices, electric, new technology, future. The truth is it's transportation design. And it's about mobility because it's transportation. <laughs> That's it. After you can call it the way you want, but it basically is the same thing. But one thing is true, and I always I already start talking about that in my in my video. That mobility is changing dramatically and will change dramatically in the next 10 years. Yeah, RCA, Royal College, yeah. But that's okay don't worry if you will go there you are safe most of all because royal college is a very good school so don't worry would you be able would you be able know if uh, the person you created from the portfolio yes of course Imran. It, it it depends to see how you make your your project and then i realize whether the project is a creative one has some interesting things in terms of creativity. So if there is a real talent, creative talent, or if uh, we got just good skills. Good skills, uh, it's not interesting because uh, we have already our illustrators, <laughs> you know. All right. Okay. Raja, sir, could you please name the top five technology design college of bachelor English uh, for bachelor English for international students? Okay. Uh, John, I will make my list, but you can make your list, okay? Because I know that on this one, we will not probably <laughs> agree. First, number one, Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. Number two, CCS in Detroit University. It was a college in Arts University. Then I would say, in Europe, 
Ah, uh, uh, Rajat, I, you should have told me before. I am already up, <laughs> up road. Okay, so forget America. Let's go to Europe. Um, for bachelor, part time schooler in Germany is the best one, but be careful. They don't take anybody for bachelor that comes from engineering university. And they don't take people that do not speak German. To do a bachelor in part time, unless they changed, but I, I don't recall they changed the, the rule, you must speak German. But to me, when we talk about part time, it's like we are talking about CCS or Art Center in Europe. Okay? So that's how I feel. Then after that, I would say uh, Art Center, CCS, RCA, Fort Sam, Strat, Hong Kong, Korea. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Hundred percent. The only problem RCA it it doesn't it offers only masters. They don't offer a bachelor. What I what I know. I hope it's not true. Strat. Uh, you know, to be honest, I uh, instead of Strat, I would put IED in Torino. Not because I was there for 10 years as the head of the beginning of the department, but because they have a, a good clay model, because people sketch, they they do, they still sketch, and in Strat, uh, we, we have a problem, because they changed the methodology. So they don't have any more uh, fixed teachers, but they have collaboration. So things are just uh, changing very quickly. And, and what I know looks like uh, students get uh, several type of teachers and all those teachers are not, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I was there a couple of times when they were the old um, director. At that time, they still, I would say, they still kept the sketching thing and stuff. Now things are changing. Yeah, they, they're teaching French, yeah, it's true. Uh, when I went there, I had to speak French and not English uh, because um, unless a lot of people would not understand me. But anyway, okay, no big deal. Uh, it remains a good college, uh, in my opinion. But if I, if I had to send my son, I would send it to IED because you have uh, all the tools, all the skills, and you have a fixed team of teachers that come from uh, the car design studio star in Torino. Uh, there is a young team, they, and they sketch. Probably they don't, don't sketch anymore the way we used to at my time, but it's true that at my time there was no Photoshop, and today yet we do have that digital thing that takes a big part of uh, what we used to do just by hand. Only striker. Are there any one uh, year course that can get me into a card design after in card design after my master in design? I'm 35 years old. Maybe by this June I have been working super hard. Now only striker, I don't understand your question. Uh, any one year course that get me into car design? You mean car design job? If it's job, uh, uh, one year course uh, no, doesn't exist a bachelor in one year. Does not exist. You have only a master. Uh, and then, yes, Umea, Rajat, you're right. Uh, um, I, I'll tell you. IED in Europe, it's good. IAAD in Torino, it's good. Strat, I would say third one. Uh, Umea, I'm sorry, but they don't do transportation design bachelor. They only do master. Because Umea is probably the, one of the best schools we have in Europe. But for master. Like SPD. SPD in Milano, it's only master. A Coventry, yes. But with um, Coventry, there are periods where it goes everything go very well. And there are periods that uh, can go very bad. So it, it depends uh, how is the way, you know? It's not very constant. Umea is very good, John. I was there several times. I went there. 
the director it's a friend of mine uh, I should have gone there some time ago to teach it didn't happen um, they work really well it's like a small art center and they have an like, incredible uh, model shop uh, computer lab beautiful uh, school uh, good people everybody works to make quality to produce quality so it's very very good the only problem is that they only do master that's the only problem then you have also transportation design uh, battery in uh, ied in spain but uh, probably it's not uh, the best uh, ultra best choice because Torino is much, much better in terms of uh, IED, Instituto Europeo di Design. And those are the ones that I, that I, I, I recall. You know, but if you speak German, I would say choice number one for science. Okay, my friends, I think that today we did, we had our our design talk the first one of 2024 thank you very much for being with me we were together one hour and four minutes basically no one hour and 15 minutes exactly so thank you i hope to see you next friday for a new design talk don't forget that tomorrow at 6 p.m uh, french time uh, there is uh, the video that will go live about my lesson uh, taken from my online course, okay? It's just an example. And if you need uh, an online course that is cheap, <laughs> you can contact me in private, on chat, on my email, via Instagram, and I will explain to you how, how it works, okay? And I'll see if in my schedule I have a time to dedicate to you. Thank you very much. Ciao, John. Ciao to all of you. Ciao, Reynard. Can we do transportation after doing master in industrial design? Yes, after master, yes, uh, Reynard. But your portfolio, remember, you get a job thanks to your portfolio and to your CV. In your CV, there is also the schools you've done and the level you have in school. But the portfolio, it's very important. The portfolio will give you the job, not the fact that you have a master in transportation or a bachelor in transportation. The, the reason number one is your portfolio, the quality and the creativity of your portfolio. And of course, the skills. Okie dokie. Ciao. Grazie. See you next Friday. Bye bye.